is uh, being seen as an authority and building your brand to really achieving market domination? Authority is your greatest asset as a, as a thought leader, entrepreneur, person with a service or a product, whatever it is. If you're going to try to build a personal brand, you have to put time into it. It's not like a 30 minute a day go and post. It's like a few hours a day kind of thing. So the, this, this, this model of I have to invest nothing beyond uh, ads and listing a product, it was a cash flow model. It was never a business. It was always just a way to make some cash. And people are really hung up on this. Like, I want to make money quick. I want to make it now. And I'm only invested in trying to make a sale. And it's like that model will never take you very far. If you're not focusing on brand and community and engagement and value of the product when they receive it, like if you're not actually doing business with integrity, you're fucked, man. Now, because, because of all the traffic coming in and all the mixed messages coming in, if you happen to build a brand or a lifestyle that really is you, your customers know who it is, you can run through and push through all the confusion out there. People will choose your business over another because they've had an experience or they have been told a story of, of an experience that somebody else has had. And it makes us, it makes me as a consumer, it makes you as a consumer choose one business over another. And I have to understand that the more experiences I put out online, the higher likelihood that somebody will choose to invest in my business and services, not because I am the best. I could think I'm the best or I could think I'm the worst. It doesn't matter for these people who had said, she is speaking to me. She has delivered something to me, a value, a benefit. She has connected with me. That is how all of us need to kind of create our little niche in the business world by saying, yes, you like what I do, but the reason why you're paying premium is to buy a piece of my time, buy a piece of my philosophy, buy a piece of what I do. And I think that has really become transformative in social media. You just operate differently. You market differently. How you get success translates differently. If you're doing the majority of business, you should be scared because 90% failed. Don't look like at It's weird to me how people don't look at the math. Like anytime I catch myself and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm just like everybody else. I get really afraid. That's part of the game. Advertising and branding are part of the game. It is a, it is a part of being an entrepreneur. You know, a customer, no matter what, wants to know that the brand they're associating with means something more than just the product. The most important thing that anyone can do is to invest in building your own brand, um, which means understanding the mediums that you shine. You know, are you a great writer? Are you great at audio? Are you great at video? And just really doubling down on, on making a voice for yourself. As you begin to scale and as you begin to grow and as you begin to just become more successful and, and accumulate um, more cash, what I tell people is start with 80-20. Okay, take 20% of that ad budget and put it towards non-accountable things that you believe are going to build a relationship. You know, a lot of people think that brands need to be always of opulence and of quality. A brand of, you know, like in my market, T-shirts, you can buy three white T-shirts in, in probably Walmart for $9. And that brand is, I, I'm messy. I get my T-shirt dirty all the time. I can wear these a total of six times and I'm done. All right. It only costs me $9.99 and I can buy a bunch of more. Or your brand could be. It's one shirt and it's a Dolce & Gabbana and it's $100 because you're not going to see other people with this type of shirt on, that, that many people, and it's the quality. So it all depends on what you're selling. Are you going back to your core of who you are? And I say it often, can you put yourself in two to five words? What are the core beliefs of, of your company, your personal brand, What are the case is? And uh, what are your customers' core beliefs and what are they looking for? I don't think when you're trying to provide value that you get to decide what the value is. That's actually giving. Like I have no ambition to dictate the value that I provide. I have ambition of providing the value the person wants. And I'm in it for a long game, like long game authority and credibility. And if you, and you should always be in it for long game. If this is really what you want to do and you really want to be, become the recognized expert in your field, you need to build up those mo that momentum and you need to build up the relationship capital. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want, check out our most recent video over here. And this one is the one YouTube thinks you'll like. But if you really enjoyed watching, please do me a favor, like and subscribe over here. Thank you so much.